Hi everybody, in this episode I'll be doing my review of the Rampart Modular Terrain from Archon Studios. All right, so let's jump into things. Uh, the first thing that I noticed when I picked all of these up, and I talked about this in my unboxing, is that they're heavy. They're thick. The um, plastic or the resin that they're made from uh, feels really good. Now that I'm starting to clip things out, it should be noted that, um, look, overall, let me say this. I like the stuff. I like the modular terrain, but it is not what I would call beginner friendly. As I go through and I clip all of this stuff out, um, there's a lot of flashing that tends to get left. The, the pieces themselves are thick, and so the connective bits on the sprue are also pretty thick, and so there's a lot of stuff left over. We're going to speed things up for you here as you watch me clip everything out and adjust the focus a little bit for you. It's not bad, and if you take your time, or if you are used to doing a lot of terrain from things like Games Workshop, because let's be honest, that's the comparison everyone's making, uh, then, you know, it's not too bad. But again, it's not what I would call beginner-friendly. This takes a little while. Now, I will say you could potentially do some paint on the sprue if you would have liked here, uh, getting that basing done. That's something that I've talked about before. But yeah, so here I need to go in and uh, take some of these bits off here from the sprue. And, and then you'll see me go back and need to trim up either with my clippers or going through with my emery board and taking care of a, a lot of this flashing and leftover stuff. Um, it's, it's pretty noticeable. If I was being hypercritical, I would say it's pretty bad, but overall I do like the terrain. And so let's just say that you're going to want to spend some time filing things down and making it nice and pretty. Also, it's terrain, so if you don't get them super flat, they're not going to fit together as well, and they're not going to stand up as well. So that's what I'm doing here with my nice little emery board. These are really cheap, by the way, and so just pick them up. You will absolutely thank yourself later when you're priming and painting. All right, so these fit together. Uh, I do a lot of dry fitting. You will need some um, some glue here, some super glue or gorilla glue or whatever it is that you want to call it and get it on the edge. Don't put the glue directly on the tip of the peg because then that just goes into the recess and it doesn't have anything to grab onto. Uh, I add a couple of drops here along the edges pretty standard fare if you're used to putting together terrain or any kind of mini really since they are large pieces you might go through a little bit extra glue than you're used to and now i'm going ahead and putting them together now i go through and i double check the orientation of the like cathedral windows there's little triangular type windows to make sure that they're all uh, pointing upwards so it doesn't end up looking like I have a column on upside down. There are blueprints, there are uh, pages that kind of show you how they go together, sort of. They aren't as detailed as if you're used to picking up uh, miniatures from Games Workshop or terrain from Game Workshop. Um, it sort of vaguely shows you what they look like. Yeah, see there, I had to actually go through and clip more stuff off. Um, and to be honest, I could almost stop the video here. It's a lot of this lather, rinse, repeat, as it were. These are your basic wall areas, but we've got a handful of other things. Uh, we'll look at what those look like. It's really nice stuff. There's some miniatures. There's some decoration, accoutrement, um, gargoyles and parapets and all kinds of stuff. So... Let's get one of these little tower things clipped out. 
the whole thing that Rampart was selling whenever the Kickstarter was going was the fact that these were magnetized and modular, so you could put them together however you wanted. And that's true, but also there's a lot of these little pegs that you end up using, so it's not all 100% magnetized. Also, it's worth pointing out, and this isn't new, they say it in the Kickstarter, um, it does not come with the magnets. So that is an extra expense, and they're not cheap. You know, I got about 20 of them for $5. Well, if every wall has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different connection points, and some of them have 10, well, that could be just two different walls that go together. And I've already gone through my five bucks. So again, one of those ideas of maybe it's not beginner friendly, it's not a super cheap option. And cheap is sometimes a four letter word, as it were, but um, it's not inexpensive. You get a really high quality product for what you pay for. But I just wanna point out that there are some added expenses along the way. Now, I'm not using any of my super glue for the things like the gargoyles or the tower tops or anything like that because I wanna be able to pop those out and move them around and maybe I want a two-story project or a one-story. So make sure that you're not gluing everything together. There are these little um, housing pieces and we're gonna be gluing those into place. It's what's going to help hold the magnet or the peg in place. You can see on the sprues there's some little cylindrical pegs. That's not trash. Don't throw those away. They're one of the optional ways of connecting everything. So you don't have to buy magnets, but doing a quick look at the sprues, I don't think that there's enough pegs for every piece to have its own peg. So again, you're going to have to figure something out. It's not an all-in-one box. You're going to be spending a little bit of extra money. This is the cathedral, in case you were wondering. So it's sort of that um, European-inspired architecture. I got two sets of the cathedral, and I got one set of the uh, temple that has not shipped as of the recording of this video yet. All right, so there's two walls, and here's some more of the ruins. Here's an extra wall, and I've gone ahead and put the magnets in here. And you see how they just clip together, and that's great. Like, it really does make things very simple. I can pop this tower top on there. That's a really nice-looking piece. Now, something that you do want to be careful of when you're putting all of this stuff together is... Um, making sure that the magnets align themselves well. Uh, more than once, I did have to take something apart because I had two ends of the magnets and it was like two, you know, two north ends or two positive ends, however you're supposed to say it, uh, and they ended up repulsing each other. Uh, this is one of the really cool little um, statuettes that comes with the piece. Uh, this sort of techno priest, I've been calling it. Um, I really did like this. This one did take a lot more finessing with trimming off the extra fleshing and or flashing, not fleshing. Ooh, that's creepy. Uh, the flesh flashing and sanding it down. But this is a really neat piece. I'm looking forward to getting this one painted up. To me, all of this looks like it's mostly made out of stone with some metal bits in there. But if you've picked them up, I'd be interested in what you think. Maybe maybe to you it is metal. It's a neo-futuristic type thing. Uh, or maybe it's an ancient lost civilization. What's the color scheme you would go with? I'm thinking of trying to do like light colors almost like it was made out of marble with copper and steel piping but i don't know i'm open to suggestions so if you've got a you got a suggestion of what you want this uh neophyte priest 
Neophyte priest? I don't think I'm using that word correctly. I don't think I am. I could probably Google it, but I don't think I'm using it correctly. What does neophyte mean? Somebody let me know in the comments below. I'm uh, Let me know nicely, I'm sure. I'm sure there's plenty of people that know what it means without looking it up, but I don't. Help me learn a new word. All right, but here we go. I'm gluing this one together, and it's all put together. This techno priest, I think that's the word I was looking for. What color scheme would you like to see the techno priest? We'll outsource that, and I'll paint him up for you and let you know what it looks like. Uh, there's a couple of gargoyles, uh, drain spouts, and some uh, lanterns, maybe some OSL, object source lighting options for you. And that could be really cool. You'll see there's a couple of sections there that didn't actually get cut out. I need to let Archon Studio know that uh, I need those replaced. I'll let you know how quickly they respond and how easy it is to get those replacement parts uh, in the future as soon as that happens. Make sure that you're following us on Twitter at r 4 vlog That's where I'll let you know where that happens. I really like this bit. I like where you can pop in and out the different uh, decorations. That's really cool. Um, and like I said, the material is really strong and thick, so I think it'll stand together. Now this is one thing that bothers me. It's that little end piece, yeah, that doesn't stand up. It doesn't stand up at all. Now it's 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 really frustrating. It has some of the areas where I can connect it with a peg or a uh, magnet. Um, so that's what I'll have to do. But that one tall, thin piece is not freestanding. Just something to keep in mind. But most of them are. And they line up nicely. It's going to provide some really good cover for my thousand suns uh, or maybe for a D&D campaign an old lost temple of Ayun perhaps that's what that uh, techno priest makes me think of they snap together pretty nicely but yeah you'll see I tend to try to put them together two magnets at a time so that I know that they're always um, they're always going to connect well. And if you wanted, you really could just place them in there and not try to glue them into place. I've been gluing them into place, but I might not do that as I move forward. I might just put the piece in. Ah, yeah, see, here I've, I've got them. They don't go together. The uh, polarity is wrong. So that's another reason to just use the pegs. Um, or not glue them into place. Uh, Archon Studio, if you're watching this, hey, thanks for a pretty great product. Uh, I'd be interested if you're going to be selling uh, just a bag of pegs in the future. Now you can see here I'm, I'm having to take this apart because I got the polarity wrong. I'm guessing this is going to be an issue a lot of people have. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm not smart enough to plan ahead. But either way, I did have to fix it. I'm just cleaning up some of the uh, uh, super glue and whatnot that got in there. And I'll own this. This was my mistake, but it was a mistake I was trying to avoid and still ended up happening. But yeah, they just pop that off, flip the magnet around, <laughs> make sure that it works, and get it all glued back into place. Ultimately, it's not a difficult fix. It's just an annoying fix that I was actively trying to avoid and it still happened to me. So there you go, the Rampart Modular Terrain from Archon Studios. Overall, I have to stress this, I love it. It's heavy, it's durable. I think it's gonna take paint really well and I absolutely love the way that it looks. And I really like the magnetization that that's built in. The magnets are gonna cost you extra. And the fact that the plastic, the resin is so heavy means you're gonna spend a little bit more time cleaning things up. It's maybe not beginner friendly, but it's a really solid product, and I might end up picking up 
a couple more of the sets. I think that this looks really great with some of these Thousand Suns waiting to ambush. Uh, I can't wait to use them for some wargaming or even in Pathfinder or Dungeons and Dragons. Really, anytime you need a temple or a cathedral that's in ruins. A big thanks to all of our patrons, and especially to Joan. If you want to support our channel, you can head over to our Patreon page and check out the different perks of being a patron. Did you back the set? Uh, have you gotten these already? Are you looking at picking them up? What are your thoughts? Have you already painted them? I'd love to see what some of them look like. You can absolutely tag us on Instagram or Twitter. Let me know what you think of the Rampart stuff in the comments below. So until next time, I'm Ryan, and this is Roll for Initiative. Bye! Bye!